Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video. I am going to be reviewing the brand new Bobbi Brown Luxe Gems eyeshadow palette for their new holiday collection. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts about this very glittery, luxurious palette, then just keep watching. So let me start off by saying something that I've been saying for forever. Bobbi Brown is, in my opinion, one of the most slept on brands just because of the way that their product works. Now, over the past few years, obviously, there has been a huge shift in the brand. I don't know if you guys know this if you are a makeup nerd like me, but Bobbi Brown, she started the brand as kind of a very natural makeup brand, something for women to just be able to throw on super easy and super natural. And that was kind of the whole premise behind the brand obviously in the makeup industry now that really is a difficult concept to have because it's all about the brand new colors textures formulas all of that pretty unnatural stuff and so Bobbi Brown ended up leaving the brand I believe in 2016 and since then I believe it's owned by Estee Lauder and the whole concept behind the brand has shifted but I always have had a really soft spot for Bobbi Brown because I remember when I was younger and I was starting to get into makeup my mom took me to the Bobbi Brown counter so I could get color matched because Bobbi Brown at that time was known for all of their different color shades and just the natural makeup look so that's where my mom took me I got a stick foundation from them that I still love and use to this very day I got a blush in the shade Maui and then there was this rose gold eyeshadow that I was in love with so I've always had a soft spot for Bobbi Brown but honestly I've always felt like some of their products were amazing. Now, of course, some of their products are not amazing, especially since they've been experimenting with this new image. However, there are so many of Bobbi Brown's products that I use in my collection that are my staples and in my makeup kit as well. I love their lipstick colors. I feel like they look great on everybody. The foundation stick is also a staple. There's just so many things from Bobbi Brown that I use all the time. I'm definitely biased when I say they're the most slept on brand. But anyway, Anyways, when I saw this eyeshadow palette, I was so excited. It just looked amazing to me. So this is the Lux Gems eyeshadow palette. It is available right now on Nordstrom.com. So I will put the link down for you guys. I did post that in my community tab because it like just crept up on the website. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought the palette looked beautiful. And now I'm here for my review. So first of all, this eyeshadow palette isn't very cheap. <laughs> it is $75 for seven shades. $75 is quite a lot, but oh my gosh, it is. it has the most beautiful colors. So this is a Nordstrom exclusive. It is a limited edition. It has seven ultra blendable luxe eyeshadows in striking jewel tones and sparkling finishes. I love sparkling eyeshadows, so I think that is why I was so drawn to this palette. So the packaging of this palette is super crazy. It's like this jewel kaleidoscope it feels like kind of packaging really neat for Bobbi Brown because normally they're quite boring. And it says Bobbi Brown right here. It's gold, very sturdy packaging. And then you open it up, you have a large mirror, and then you have your seven shades. This has 0.49 ounces of product. And I forgot to mention this, but it is actually made in Italy, which I was very excited about because that's where Pat McGrath's eyeshadows are made. So I felt like there would be a correlation between the glitter formulas because Pat McGrath has my favorite glitter formula in the world. These colors are dual tone inspired and I can definitely see that but in here you are getting four glittery shades, two mattes, and there's one kind of more shimmer glitter so it's still glittery but it's definitely a different formula than the other four. Now it's time for me to be honest with you guys. Some of the eyeshadows in this palette are no bueno, not good at all. So let's talk about it. $75 palette my hopes were high. I love Bobbi Brown. I always give them the benefit of the doubt. The mattes in here are absolutely terrible. There is no pigmentation to them whatsoever. So this shadow I could give a little bit of leeway to just because it is more of a skin tone color, but honestly, it does nothing. All it would do, I suppose, is set my sticky base. So that one hardly shows up. I would say it's maybe half a shade different from my skin tone, but you know what? I That's okay. This plum shadow needed some extra pigmentation to be able to carry the other shades. Okay, so look at this. Dark plum, grayish color, 
look, this is like nothing. There should be so much more pigmentation to that. And it was no different on the eye either. As you can see, I don't have much depth in my eye today. So the two mattes are complete duds and right away $75 and already two of the shades suck. Let's put that aside and talk about the other formulas and colors in here. This shade right here is the least glittery of the glitter shades. It applies super smooth to the lid and it even applies really well with a brush. I really like this kind of tone gray color super pigmented completely the opposite from those horrible matte shades this color is amazing I'm obsessed with it. it has silver sparkles thumbs up on that formula now the other four are more glittery and guys this is why I'm having such a hard time with this palette this formula is the closest formula to the Pat McGrath glitter formula that I've ever experimented with. I'm constantly comparing glitter formulas to Pat McGrath and this one is super dang close. That being said, the price isn't far off. So it's not like a really cheap dupe by any means, but it's a formula that is pretty close to Pat McGrath level. My favorite formula in the world. So that is why I, I'm frantic. I don't know what to do. I'm going to talk about the two darker shades. I'm not a big fan of this plum one. It is very black based. And I just, I hate a plum that's very black based. I don't know why I like things more purple based. It just makes me look like I got punched in the eye, to be quite honest. It's just too dark, but it is really pretty. Of the glitter shades though, this one is my least favorite. I feel like it loses the glitter when you apply it. It's just not as impactful on the eye. With all these glitter shades, you need a glitter glue underneath them so that you can get the most out of the shadows. You can work the shadows just fine onto your lid without a glitter glue, but it takes a little bit of extra work. And at the end of the day, it's just so much prettier when you add a glitter glue. But this one, I just feel like the glitters aren't embedded into the formula. It just kind of falls and you lose them as you blend away. And this shade can be a bit patchy. So this one was a bit of a letdown. The other shade, that is a little bit more black based is this blue now when you apply this without a glitter glue I wasn't that impressed because it was so black based but when you apply this on top of a glitter glue the blue really sticks so it's not as black so you definitely need a glitter glue with this one but this is gorgeous all over the lid if you leave your house unlike me like at night <laughs> this is gorgeous all over the lid when the lights hit Whew. This is a stunning jewel toned color, love it. But of course, you definitely need that glitter glue to make it work. And then we have the other two colors, and these are my favorite two colors in the palette. So you have a really strong duochrome, it's like a pinky golden. There is a Pat McGrath color that is very similar, it's right here, but this is so pretty and so pigmented, and I love it. And then you have this really light one right here, let me show you so stunning they add such a pretty effect to the eye i have those two on my eyelid right now and i'm just having a hard time because this palette is not worth it because not all of the shades are great but then the ones that are great are super great <laughs> so i'm not sure what i want to do about that yet because it is 75 dollars but i'm always chasing a glitter formula that is this good so I'm quickly going to take a breather and we're going to go into how I got this look that I'm wearing today. I wanted to play with the lighter colors because they are my favorite in this palette. So I just wanted to show you. So the first color I started off with is this really light matte shade. And I started that in the inner corner of my crease and blended it out. I uh, definitely like it shows up, but it's kind of useless still. <laughs> and then I went in with the deeper color right here. And because it lacks pigmentation, it's almost very gray on the eye. It's not my favorite, but it did add depth to the eye. I would have to dig into another palette, to be honest, to get any sort of depth to the eye, but I didn't want too much darkness in my eye look today. I then applied glitter glue. I used the Too Faced glitter glue in case you were curious, and then I took this shade right here, and I just used my finger to pat that all over my lid except for the inner corner. So I would say the outer two-thirds of my lid is where I placed it, and that one has that really pretty gold pink duochrome. Very stunning. And then I took this shade right here, and I patted that in the inner third of my lid, and that really adds brightness. This is going to look stunning all over the lid with an actual crease color that has pigmentation. I just, I love those two shades so much. That is how I got this look. A really simple eye. And just like, take a look at this. I mean, I feel like glitters, the camera just doesn't do this formula justice. Like in real life, when this hits the lights, 
people are gonna ask you what's on your eyelids I guarantee you all right so let's talk about my final opinions of this palette obviously there's a battle within me right now with this palette because I can't recommend it to you guys just because it is not worth the value when you're only getting seven shades and it is a $75 palette every shade better be amazing so for that reason I cannot recommend it to you guys however it also has some amazing shadows I don't know I can't justify it though I really cannot however if you are interested in the formula and the colors and you do have the money to shell out absolutely go for it because I am quite obsessed with the glitter formula in here however I can't recommend it to you guys just on principle cannot take what I said with a grain of salt you decide if it would be good for you and that's all I have to say for this video so if you are not yet subscribed to my channel I do hope you take the time to do so I have a lot more fun holiday makeup videos coming up for you guys even though it's only September but it's the best time of the year for the makeup industry so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one